maybe the way to begin is to talk about the, as you know, in a compact way, the genesis story of each show. So, uh, Mitch, maybe you could begin just sort of tell, tell us the, the story of the, and I know this is a long story, but the foundation <laughs> of Arrested Breaking Development. Breaking Bad? Oh, yeah, oh yeah. my or, show. <laughs> or actually, pick, it, pick any show. Pick any show and explain I how can you do think Breaking it got Bad on Bad much quicker because yeah. we don't know much about <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> the origin, that yeah. is. Uh, in, uh, God, what are the interesting parts of this? Well, the interesting parts to me are different than the interesting parts to you, like the, when the paycheck came. <laughs> but I would say... Um, Ron Howard, uh, through David Nevins, who now runs Showtime, uh, reached out to me and said he wanted to experiment with a show that was using the vocabulary of reality shows, interestingly. It, it was, um, there hadn't at that time been a show that was shot with videotape, uh, HD videotape, digital videotape. Everything was shot with film or regular videotape. And the advantage to this uh, HD digital videotape was that you didn't have to overlight it. You could shoot quickly, and it could be sloppier in a way that, that he thought would be good for comedy. And his, his original idea was, he said, you know, as an actor and a producer, I've been both on single camera shows and what are called multi-camera shows, the shows with an audience. And he said he felt the multi-camera shows were funnier because it was rehearsed so much and rewritten so much. And he said, if we could use that kind of idea in making a single camera show, we didn't do this, by the way. <laughs> really using up some of my compact history to tell you something that didn't happen. But the idea was that we would, we would rehearse every day for four days, and we'd make the joke stronger and stronger, and then on Friday, we'd shoot it once. But I wanted to use that savings in expense and time to shoot a lot of scenes and to try to get at family enmeshment and to try to get at um, character that went beyond stock character. Because coming from uh, sitcom, you know, you're dealing with stock characters because you don't have that much time. You know, there are jokes in between things. You, the script is probably 25 pages. And so I really wanted to try to almost do what The Simpsons did in a way by showing a lot of different parts of yeah. a family's life. And then we just went through the development process. It, it seemed like a long shot to everybody. Mm. I, I remember after we shot the pilot, getting a call from Jason Bateman, who said to me, wow, this was really good, I'm surprised. <laughs> 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 Which, and I was surprised, he was surprised. And, but I, I was impressed. I said, well, why did you do it if you didn't think it was going to be good? And he said, well, I did it because I liked it. But even he kind of thought, this won't make it on broadcast television. But I actually had great respect for that. He was doing something courageous with his career, getting out of his comfort zone. Mm. And he could have used a big hit at that time. But, um, so it really seemed like a long shot. And I think that enabled us to push some boundaries in retrospect. It just wasn't taken that seriously. That's my compact history. All right.